25강 실전 모의고사 1회 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, parents. Do you want your child to learn the enjoyment of reading? Then enroll them in the Little Fun Reading Club. Every month, your child will receive a Little Fun Reading Club box containing three books. The books are matched to your child's age and interests that you check in the initial enrollment form. The books are selected through a rigorous review process considering the subjects, authors, awards, and book reviews. And all the books are read and discussed by the Little Fun Reading Club experts before they are included in a subscription box for any age category. For only $16.95 a month, give your child the meaningful gift of reading. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. I'm home, honey. Hey, honey. Were you late for work? You woke up late this morning. Yeah, just five minutes. But it was the third time this month. Hmm. I'm worried your colleagues might be getting frustrated with your being late. I know. It's even worse because nowadays we have meetings in the morning. So I end up interrupting the meeting when I get there late. That's not good at all. I'm sure your supervisor isn't happy about that either. You really need to start leaving home earlier. You're right. Do you have any suggestions? How about setting your clock 10 minutes fast? Do you think I should do that? Yes. Because when you see the clock, it'll seem later than it actually is. So you'll start getting ready earlier. Then you'll leave on time. Sounds like a good idea. I'll give it a try. 3번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, Ms. Green. Yes, you must be Mr. Roberts. Yes, nice to meet you. Thanks for your time. I'm glad you stopped by my store. By the way, how did you find out about my bread? From your website. When did you first open your store? About a year ago. I opened it when I came back from studying baking in France. That's great. Oh, here's your famous cream cheese bread. Everybody is talking about it. Please try some. Thank you. Wow, it's really soft and delicious. So, to get to the point, I'd like to sell your bread at the cafe I run. It is located in the Westdale department store. Sounds great, but I currently bake all the bread myself, so I'm not sure if I can bake much more for your cafe. I understand. Please think about it and call me back. Here's my business card. I will. Thank you. 4번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Kevin. Check your email. I just sent you a picture of your remodeled room. Hi, Mom. I'm looking at it now. Do you like having your new desk under the window? Yeah, that's the perfect place for it. And I didn't remove the baseball uniform hanging on the door. I know how much you love it there. Good, thanks. And I can see my medals and trophies on the bookshelf. Yeah, I thought you'd like to have them in your room rather than in the living room. Sure. The new bed cover is cool. I really like the polka dots on them. Your dad picked those out. 
You got me a new rug. It's shaped like a baseball. How cool! When your dad and I were shopping, we saw it. We knew we had to get it for you because you love baseball so much. Thanks, Mom. Uban. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Murray, what are you reading? Hey, Rachel. A book about a family who traveled around in a caravan for one year. They had some of the most amazing experiences. I bet they did. I'm also interested in traveling in a caravan, but I believe it would be really difficult to actually do it. I know what you mean. A year is a long time. When I was young, my family and I would take short trips in a caravan. Oh, cool! Did your family actually own a caravan? No, we rented one. I got my driver's license last year, so I really want to go on a caravan trip soon. You should. Caravans are not even that expensive to rent. Really? Can you recommend a decent place to rent one? Yeah, actually, my friend runs a caravan rental shop. I'll text you his shop's phone number. Thanks, Murray. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Hello, ma'am. Hello, my name is Lisa. I'm here to pick up my watch I dropped off on Monday. Oh, yeah. Here it is. One small part was broken, so I replaced it. It's like a new one now. Thank you. How much is it? The total fee is $50, and that includes the cost of the new part. Okay. I also want to buy a digital alarm clock. Hmm. How much is this one? It's $40. But I recommend the one next to it. It tells the temperature, too. Oh, great. And it's only $5 more than the other clock. Then I'll take it. It's a gift for a friend. Could you wrap it up? Sure. We usually charge $3 for gift wrapping, but I'll do it for free. Thank you so much. Here's my credit card. One moment, please. 7번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 웰링턴 의과대학에 등록하지 않은 이유를 고르시오. Ryan, I heard the good news that you got accepted to Wellington Medical School. Congratulations. Thank you, Kathy. You've already been accepted to Simon Medical College, so which one are you going to choose? It wasn't an easy decision, but I've made up my mind. Let me guess. I think you'll go with Wellington. Simon Medical College is great, but pretty far away. That doesn't matter. Either way, I'd stay in the dormitory. Actually, I've decided to enroll in Simon Medical College, not Wellington. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Is that because Wellington's tuition is higher than Simon's? No, I was offered scholarships from both schools. Oh, then why did you choose Simon Medical College? My cousin, who recently graduated from Wellington Medical School, said that the facilities there are pretty old. Ah, now I understand your decision. 8번. 대화를 듣고 더스트프리 11 진공 청소기에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Honey, I just saw a TV advertisement for the new vacuum cleaner called Dust Free 11. I've heard about it. It looks really nice. Since we need a new vacuum cleaner, why don't we get one? Okay. Our vacuum cleaner's suction power is really weak. 
It's made by R&J Electronics, right? Yep. The Dust Free 11 has more suction power than its competitors. I also heard that it has a really long battery life. That's right. One full charge lasts up to three hours. Wow, that long? I'm sure it's not cheap, though. It's pretty pricey. It's $500, but I found a site where it's on sale for 5% off. What a good deal. Let's buy it there. Okay. It comes in three different colors, blue, black, or white. How about black? Sounds good. All right. Then I'll order a black one online. Coupon. Goldfish 스윔 스쿨에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. I'm Gina Miller. Do you want your kids to learn how to swim? Then bring them to Goldfish Swim School at 112 Main Street, right across from the fire station. We offer swimming lessons for kids aged 4 to 12 years. Our class sizes are small. We have a maximum 4 to 1 student to teacher ratio for kids aged 4 and 5, and a maximum 6 to 1 ratio for children between 6 and 12. We have two kids' pools and an Olympic-sized swimming pool, all heated to 30 degrees Celsius year-round. Also, we have a hair-drying station, swimsuit dryers, and private changing rooms. To enroll your child in a goldfish swim school, or for more information, please call us at 123-555-2429. Thank you. 10번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 등록할 운동 강습을 고르시오. Honey, I'm going to start exercising before work as a New Year's resolution. Great. What kind of exercise do you have in mind? I haven't decided yet, but definitely one of these in this brochure. Well, I don't recommend PT. It has too much weight training. I don't want that, and I'd like to choose a place near my work. King's Pilates is on the other side of town. Yeah, it's too far. And this one opens at 9 a.m., but you start work at that time. Right. So there's no way I can choose this class. So it's down to these two. I think having a one-on-one -on -one class would be really nice. That's true. But it's probably a lot more expensive, so I'll just take this one that's a group class. Besides, exercising with others can be motivating. Oh, I didn't think of that. Good point. Thanks for the help. I'll call and register right away. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Susan, the election for the student council is tomorrow, right? Yes. Have you decided which presidential candidate you're going to vote for? No. It's hard to decide. How about you? 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, did you hear the news that the city council is considering closing the children's theater? Yeah, I heard that the theater is having financial difficulty these days. Too bad. It must be related to their low ticket sales. 13번. 
대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jane, how come you're back so quickly? Hey, Dad. Jenny had to suddenly go home, and I wasn't able to make a snowman. Why not? Because the snow wouldn't stick together. I couldn't even make a snowball. Ah, uh, I see. Do you know why, Dad? It has to do with how cold it is. When it's warmer, snow is easy to pack because there's more moisture in it. Oh, then when it's really cold, it must be the opposite. Exactly. Plus, due to cold weather, snow begins to lose its moisture after it's been on the ground for a while. I see. It's been a few days since it snowed. Right. So there must not be much moisture in the snow outside. Dad, take a look at this. Oh, it's a posting for an internship program. Yes, Oma Fashion, a renowned company in the fashion industry, is looking for college interns. Oh, what a great opportunity. Your goal is to eventually work in the fashion industry. I really want to apply, but I have some concerns. What are they? The company is three hours away, so I'd have to find my own apartment near the company. Don't worry about it. I can help you with that. Thanks, Dad. But I'm not sure if I'd be able to do a good job. I don't have any relevant work experience. Kathy, don't worry too much. It's not like they're looking for someone who already knows everything. You'd be there to learn and gain experience. Hmm, you're right. I've been studying hard and have a lot of passion for working in the fashion industry. 15번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 브라이언이 여자에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Brian is a technician who works at a mobile phone repair center. One day, a woman visits Brian's workplace and tells him that something is wrong with her phone. She explains that when she is talking on the phone, sometimes the people she's talking to can't hear what she says. Brian thinks that there's a problem with the microphone, so he takes the phone apart. And Brian finds out that the part connected to the microphone isn't working properly. Brian wants to tell her that she has to get the part changed. In this situation, what would Brian most likely say to the woman? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hi, I'm Mark Thomas, CEO of ELT Electronics. I'm so excited to be with future entrepreneurs today. The road towards a successful career doesn't always require a college degree, but To be a successful entrepreneur, a solid educational background is a huge benefit. First, when it comes to entrepreneurship, money plays a significant role. So, a degree in accounting can be beneficial. For example, finance majors learn skills such as how to track cash flows and invest and lend money. Studying computer science can also be helpful. Apart from programming languages, computer science majors learn about cybersecurity and apps, which can help them become a better entrepreneur. Studying environmental science is also beneficial. Environmental science students have a clear idea of the green economy and can develop effective solutions for environmental problems. Lastly, 
many great entrepreneurs have a deep understanding of people. So those who studied psychology know how to inspire a team to work hard and think innovatively. Next time, I'll introduce some famous entrepreneurs with each of these degrees to you. Thanks for listening. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hi, I'm Mark Thomas, CEO of ELT Electronics. I'm so excited to be with future entrepreneurs today. The road towards a successful career doesn't always require a college degree. But to be a successful entrepreneur, a solid educational background is a huge benefit. First, when it comes to entrepreneurship, money plays a significant role. So, a degree in accounting can be beneficial. For example, finance majors learn skills such as how to track cash flows and invest and lend money. Studying computer science can also be helpful. Apart from programming languages, computer science majors learn about cybersecurity and apps, which can help them become a better entrepreneur. Studying environmental science is also beneficial. Environmental science students have a clear idea of the green economy and can develop effective solutions for environmental problems. Lastly, many great entrepreneurs have a deep understanding of people. So those who studied psychology know how to inspire a team to work hard and think innovatively. Next time, I'll introduce some famous entrepreneurs with each of these degrees to you. Thanks for listening. 16번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은?